Hey there, so I'm in India at the moment. I wanted to use the opportunity to actually show you how a beehive looks or bee nest looks in a place like India where it's really hot. Um, at the moment it's something like 35 to 40 degrees Celsius. Um, and bees here, you can see that they actually don't have or require an actual house or home, a hollow in a tree. Uh, here they actually just hang underneath, say for instance, a branch uh, or a building. You have, of course, um, not so many guard bees here because it's way too hot. They're much more relaxed. Um, like with the Irish bees, I couldn't even go this close and they would start bumping into my head, warning me to, to leave. And if I didn't leave, they would start attacking me. So that's kind of, that's kind of nice. And um, at the moment, they are actually doing the waggle dance as well. And um, it's a, a lovely kind of a little dance that they show each other where the nectar is at, at present. So that's what they're doing at the moment, and these all over the world do this, so it's uh, nothing different. But I just find it amazing that this single honeycomb, you can actually see how the wind is kind of turning it, um, and that indicates that the actual comb itself inside is much softer because of the heat. I mean, we have something like 35 degrees here at the moment, um, and plus the heat of the bees as well is adding to that as well, so the, the honeycomb it's much more fluent somehow and you can actually see it here as it's, as it's moving as well. Imagine doing beekeeping here would be a, a great joy because it would be so easy you probably wouldn't even have to wear that much protection. Um, so it just, it just goes to show. Uh, plus there's probably a queen in there somewhere. Um, but what I might do is I might see if I can find an actual Indian beekeeper here. Maybe just do a quick interview with them. Um, because they obviously know way more about bees here in India, so that's, that's maybe a, a suggestion. I'm here now with Ferdinand, he's a German beekeeper, and um, but you've been living here in India for many years and you've kept bees here. And could you give us a bit of information on how they behave like, throughout the year, maybe just to kind of get a bit of an idea, like in winter, then versus spring, and so on, how they behave and so on. These bees, they come in, in April, May, June, July, it's rainy season. So before this rainy season, these lot of bees come in. Many beehives like this, they come. So they are dangerous, we have to remove them. So that's what we are doing today. So what kind of species is that as well? We have the Milliferia, isn't it, in Europe? So this is a much bigger, larger kind of honeybee, is it? Yes. A the stink is also larger, it is much more painful, yes. Okay, so and is it also longer? Because you know the way you have... Yes, yes. Okay, so it can go through many layers of clothing, like you know with the bee suits? Yes, yes. Yeah. This bee is called Apistrosata. Uh -huh. And the honey of this bee is more fluid. Okay, more fluid. Honey, the nectar? Yes. More. Because it comes like... Honey is just concentrated nectar that comes from the flowers that's brought into the... And do these uh, bees, like in Europe, they kind of, you see them flapping a lot, evaporating the, the water off the, the nectar to produce this concentrated honey? Do these, you were telling me earlier, these might do something different? Uh, yeah, these bees don't matter, they don't do this. They drop one, one drop of honey they put outside, and you can see many drops there, and the wind comes and dries it up. But it's not so intensive as like other bees in European countries. So this, this honey is more fluid, it's not very dry. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, you can see it here, even like the clothes. Like you put it out for an hour later, it's dry, you know? So it must have, yeah, it must be something like that. And what kind of bees have you got in boxes? Because you're in India now, so... Yeah, these are also bees who are living in India. Okay. Apis Serana, India. And they're more productive as a honeybee or... They, they enjoy the, like, staying in kind of like trees, yes. logs, boxes. We have them in boxes and can deal with this. They are very, very small. So they are for okay. handling for families, private doing something like this. Okay, yeah, nice. yeah. And how, what's the honey production? Now, I, you know, I told you earlier that I don't harvest the honey. I leave, I leave it for my bees in winter. You, you said you did pretty much the same. You, do, you just do it for the joy of it. But what is the honey production like roughly from a box of bees like that? Well, nine years ago, when I started keeping the bees, bees, I collect honey from... 10 beehives, 15 beehives, it was one and a half kilo, maybe two kilos. But now, now we have nearly nothing, half kilo. It's nearly nothing. 
And is it just to do with maybe the flowers in the area that have become less, or is there some kind of diseases or something? Or? It looks like this is uh, the seed, but the flowers have antifungus inside. Okay. So it looks like the seed of the, the, the farmers is not okay. Or you feel it's maybe something to do with the, what the farmers are using, perhaps, yes? Yeah? That's what they guess, and this also problem is very acute in Europe now. It's a big problem in America as well? Yes, yeah. and this, they, they think it's this. Okay, yeah. yeah. And also the varroa, we have the varroa mite. Do you have that problem as well? I know in no. Germany, yes. Yes, but, yes, but this piece has no varroas. Okay. They have no so varroa. varroa free. That's great. Yeah, varroa. They come in, was it April you said? They, before the rainy season? Yeah, they come now, in April. Where do they come from? Do they, like, like in Europe and in Germany as well, of course, we have them in boxes and through the winter. So where do they come from, like, so in, through winter? In December, January, February, March, April, yeah. they have a lot of honey. So they grow and they will grow, and then they, they are very big. They start yeah. to create a new queen, and then they split, and then they come here in the building. So April is the swarming season. In yeah. April, May. April and May. Okay. And where do they live um, in winter? I suppose you don't have a monsoon kind. Of, like you don't have a winter here, do you? So of the monsoon. So monsoon yeah, is like the your same temperature like now. All the time. A little bit different. Though. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wow. You have no cold season. Yeah, yeah. So you were saying earlier that they are actually somewhat dangerous and there's a lot of people around here. And um, what are the techniques you're going to use now to um, kind of move them? We take a little bit smog, then they think we are not the enemy. The enemy is the smog, so they don't stink so very quick as otherwise when we disturb them. Okay. So we put a little bit smog and then we disturb them. Yeah. And we do it every day, after three, four days, they go they automatically. Go. Oh. They, they look for a nice place in between yes. and then they fly away. But there's something with, to do with the brood as well, that you have to take away, like for instance in Europe, a Bee, bees would never leave the nest unless, we, as long as there's brood there, they're young. So, is it? so that's why we'll see yeah. later. We use smoke. again smoke, yeah. Uh -huh. Then the bees fly away. I see the brood. I take it with my hand. Yeah. It's form of bugs, big like this. Okay. Sometimes big like this. Yeah, it can be very big. But when the cut bees it with are, the knife. I cut it with the knife. Oh, it's only bugs and breaks. But it's only one. With these guys, there's only one one slab of comb. It's not like, not like six yeah. or seven. No, so where do they stay then? Do you, you have to gently move them or do they all fall and they just fly they on? They fly on the, this moment. And then they come back. Okay. Yeah. It's knocking it. <laughs> no, it's just blowing on the It's, it's blowing. fast, it's eh? I just get myself one of them, it's quick. They are calm, I must say. I mean, if you did that in Ireland, you would be dead. Yes. Literally, like. It's so very nice, you see. I like this. It's the really sound, amazing. Sound is yeah, so yeah, yeah. Good. My God. Well done. Mm -hmm. So you take the brood away. In one week they would be better. And they will go, way. they will relocate by, by themselves, so there's no messing around. No. 
So you disturb him now a few more times to I did all in a one, week? Already one time. One twice. Okay. Maybe after one day. Okay. Yeah. And then at least you don't have to kill yeah, or anything like that. You don't. Maybe they go to other one. Yeah. Because you can't really move you can't move them as well, eh? I did before. Like you can Yes, I did before. And how are you just I attach them onto a you attach them onto a building or how do you before do Before I I put them in a, a piece of metal and yeah. a big plastic bag. And then I took it and then put all in a plastic bag. And then I brought them away. Okay, so you had like a metal hoop and you just threw them into the plastic the plastic bag was around the metal hoop? I, and you carved them that way and then you took them how did you attach them to the building? You just wouldn't they just fly away again if there's no comb? Did you have to stick comb with brood? First I removed the brood. Next day I removed the piece. But if you wanted to move them, surely you'd have to take some of the brood and maybe stick it onto maybe a tree somewhere or No, not I try it. It's not working. It doesn't work, okay. No, not working. Interesting, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is not working. I tried it. That's the problem. You're, you're chewing you're chewing away at it at the moment. Let me see if I can yes. try a bit of it. You can eat it. It's a little bit Ooh, sweet. It's, yeah. Very sweet. And nice. Wow, that's very sweet. Full of oh nutrition. God. Full of nutrition. Very good. Gee, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> this Dolata bees have an enemy in India. It's an eagle. Oh, an eagle. an eagle. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And they, they come and fly and disturb the bees. Uh huh. And then they, you can see the brood. The, uh, oh. The brood. Okay. And then they come fly and take the brood. Like a piece of it or the whole piece of. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. They eat it. Or what? They eat it.